Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Riddles with Cassie, a series where we find some of the weirdest, the funniest, and the most savage riddles on the internet. Cassie is actually waiting for me right now, so no more talking. We're just gonna jump right into it. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. One day, Inspector Roberts came to investigate a case. Oh, the cat's still there. A man was doinked on the doorstep. Roberts talked to the man's wife. He looks a little too old, don't you think? Bob and I had a fight. I like young men. He was so angry that he ran away to cool off. When he left, two robbers broke into our house and they threatened me with a knife. I was just terrified. Suddenly, Bob returned. I told him to run, but he never really listened to me very much. Yeah, they were touching him a little too hard. And one of the robbers just, you know, they just... Oh, right through the back? Oh, yeah. However, the inspector didn't believe her. What? And Why not? And accused her of the crime. Oh, I, no. Why? Because she said that he was stabbed, but there's no blood coming out through where his, like, abdominals are. That is a good point. There should be. Right? There but should be, but there isn't. I think that's the answer, Cassie. Time I was about to be up, but my final answer is that she said he was stabbed. What? There's no blood. Like, yeah. There's no marks or anything. Yeah, he was, he was at least stabbed through the wrong side. And look how tiny those little feet are. Those little feet. That's already a crime in itself. But anyway, Cassie, that's a whole nother riddle. The man wore home clothes and slippers. Huh? Wait, what? I knew the Crocs had something to do with it. If he had left the house, he would wear some warm clothes. Mary killed her husband and staged the robbery. Wow, I thought I was so smart. Well, I thought you were right. I, I did think you were right. Dupik, what a great name. Dupik was running <laughs> from the police. <laughs> his, his bike was Dupik, 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 Dupik. You're Dupik. But they were always at his heels. I wonder why. You should have got a better bike. In a hurry, he dropped something out of his pocket. The police stopped by and found his notebook. What's in his notebook, Cassie? His, uh... Stupid secrets. They looked through it to find out if he had any other accomplices. Why would he write that in the notebook? I have just one partner, Cleo Owen Dina. I don't know what that means. They called a famous criminologist to crack the code. Is that Detective Gonzalez? I think it might be. No, it's not. It's a very oh, okay. simple code. <laughs> just bring it to eye level completely flat and close one eye. Oh? Who's Dupix, partner in crime, Cassie? I'm bringing it up to eye level and closing one eye. I'm closing one eye right now. Bringing it up to eye level. Am I even doing this right? I don't understand what's happening. I still see the same stuff just without one extra eye. Owen? It's Owen? Well, I tell you, I, I don't see Dina. I'll tell you that much. Okay, you don't see Dina. Do you see Cleo? Nah. Okay, process of elimination, guys. Cassie said it's owen we are sticking to that because cassie is small oh gosh please be owen oh that oh. high level that's oh. what they meant i i, oh. I actually went down to i was where like i was like where can was. i fit a w in there huh wow oh well i, I can't do that with the screen I'm very stupid. I'm stupid. A large vampire family lived in an ancient castle, Cassie. One day, Fabian, the head of the family, was found dead in the basement. Oh, with a stake through the heart and everything. The detective arrived at the crime scene with his big, juicy forearms <laughs> and interviewed all family members Horatio, Lorraine, Frederick. Oh, Frederick. Who were in the castle. Yeah, Frederick. I was sleeping in my coffin. <laughs> As Horatio would. I was playing the organ in the living room. I was cleaning my clothes. Okay, that's not very hot, Frederick. Who killed Fabian? I think it was Horatio. Why? Because the coffin's too small for him. He's so tall. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's probably the best hint we have right now. So I'm going to go with Horatio too. Yeah, because what's he going to do? Like bend his spine just to fit in this coffin? He is too tall for this coffin. Good eye. Cassie. Yes? That's you. Okay, is that an insult? That's you. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. And you are walking around the countryside. That's you. Don't deny it. <laughs> Fine, it's me. When suddenly... No, it's not. It's not me. It's you. It says you Fine. above the head. It's you. Okay, okay. But so from my me, perspective, maybe it's you. Yes, yeah. Yes, it is you. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, let's restart right, that right. because now I'm confused. You were walking around the countryside. <laughs> just strolling, you know? Yeah, you know, strutting. When suddenly you saw a sign. Minefield Center! You can't find out where the mines are. No! Because who could? You know, who really could? I played Minesweeper. I couldn't even know. How can you survive? Uh... Cassie, time's ticking. Uh, follow the tree. Okay, throw a shoe in the middle of the sign in the trees and then follow the trees. <laughs> Wait, is that a real answer? Yes, what's your answer? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Okay, now I feel dumb. No, 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 no. I'm just laughing. I'm just laughing. Go back the same way. Jackass. Oh. Whoa. Oh. That's true. That's true. You haven't true. come across That's any you. mine yet. 
Yeah, just go back. Yeah, just turn around and go home. You can go a different way. You don't need to go there. Who will survive here? A vampire sawing the part of the tree that he's sitting on or a zombie doing the same exact thing, but there's wolves on the ground. Okay, here's what I don't get. So when the sun rises, like, is that, isn't that that vampire guy gonna die? Yes, he is. And with B, why is he sawing? Why can't he just wait for the wolves to get sick of him and go somewhere else? You know what? I think he'll survive because he knows that they don't want to eat him because he doesn't even have any meat on his bones. They look like they want to eat him. Look at the smile <laughs> on that guy's face. <laughs> You're right. He's hella smiling right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he will survive. Right? The yes. wolves won't eat rotten zombie meat. Wait, I was right earlier. Then what are they doing down there? They're just looking at him. One rainy morning, Miss James was found dead in her bedroom. The police arrived immediately and identified three suspects who had access to Miss James' room and were at home at the moment of the crime. The police asked them to write down where they were that morning. Oh, that's a good way to see if someone's lying. I'm the sister. I went for a walk. It was nice. But it's raining. I was watching some news downstairs. Wait, go back. What the heck is going on with that? Oh, what news downstairs? There's no power. Oh, okay. Wait, but the lady said that she was going for a walk and it's raining. This family is crazy. It's like a storm. They all killed her. <laughs> yeah, I was watching some news downstairs. The power <gasps> the husband, is The husband's having fine. an affair with the sister. And the son said, I was reading a book. I believe that. I don't believe him. He doesn't know how to read. Ooh, he's the killer. The husband is having an affair with the sister, and they both planned it. Bam, Cassie. Because they're liars. Nailed that on the head. There is no electricity because the wires are cut. Besides, it seems she was stabbed by a left-handed person. The husband is the only left-handed person. Oh, so the theory of him cheating with the sister wasn't right. No. Oops. One night you are stuck in an old castle. Someone is chasing you. Ooh, look at These those guys. Losers? <laughs> and you end up before three doors. You gotta go quickly because those losers, they run fast. Each door leads to a room full of dreadful creatures. Vampires, zombies, and werewolves. What door will you choose to survive? Is there a time? Okay, it's nighttime. So someone okay, is chasing so, you. So a werewolf is out at night. Yeah, there's oh, wait, a, but it's these... not a full moon. Oh! It's not a full moon because werewolves only come out when it's a full moon, right? Yeah, yeah. Door three. The moon is waxing now. What? And werewolves transform only on a full moon. Cassie. It's, it's waxing. You gotta wait till it's, it's waxing. You gotta get that full Brazilian. Who's oh. right here? A says, you're a werewolf. Mm. Or B, what? I'm human. What if she had a, had, a, had a fling with a werewolf and is having werewolf puppies, but that's she's still human. Yeah, so she would be right. Okay, so my answer is B is right, but she banged the werewolf and she's gonna have half werewolf kids. I'm going with A to disagree with you. You're going A just to make me mad. Yeah, just to make you look bad. Looks strange for a human. Ah... Unless she's a werewolf or a werewaffle. Ken and Lisa had a good time at the circus. Ooh. After the show, Ken went to the bathroom and never came back. <gasps> no, Ken. Lisa tried to look inside, but the door was locked. You can't lock a public bathroom door like that. She called the police right away. Help, he's stuck in there. The police sealed off the room and broke the door. No! no! Ken was stabbed in the chest. No. He just wanted to go poo. The detective interviewed three suspects. Hardy, Will, and Connor. I went to the bathroom during the show, and then I went home. I didn't see anything. If only I'd known that there was a killer with a knife, I have one of my own. <laughs> I bought a cotton candy and left after the show. The detective immediately arrested Will. Yeah, because he has a knife. No, he doesn't actually have a knife. They're talking about what they saw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stupid. Yeah, no, the problem is that Will knew he was stabbed. Oh, yeah. And then the bathroom was sealed off and locked, right? No one knew Ken was killed with a knife because the room was sealed off. Why'd you do it, Will? <laughs> How could you do it to Lisa and Ken? Three friends went out to the forest. They found a dead body under the tree. Did they film it? And called... Oh, my God. And called <laughs> the police. A detective arrived soon. He figured out that the man died a month ago. There was a major hurricane about a month ago. Perhaps... He was one of its victims. <laughs> I don't think so. There was a murder. <laughs> it was a moida. There was a moida. How did he guess? Uh, because the tree is cut clean off. If it was a hurricane, then the, like the roots would be, it would be a. Oh like, yeah, uprooted. it would still be like partly attached. All right. Well, you know what? That's that's our answer. The other fallen trees have no leaves. Its leaves are green, so it fell out not too long ago. Okay. The victim was killed somewhere else and then was put under that tree. That riddle sucked my ass. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh fuck. All right, guys, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Riddles with Cassie. We actually did a lot more on her channel. I will leave the link to that video in the description box below. But if you guys want to see us take on some more of these riddles in another episode, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.